Lisa Edelstein is a multi-talented artist in every sense, and she's currently taking her talents to the celebrated drama Little Bird, based on the real-life events of the 60s scoop. Yeah, the limited series follows one indigenous woman's journey to discover the truth about her roots, with Lisa starring as her adoptive mother. Take a look. You were not taken care of. This is what they told us. Save these children. They need good homes. It's a mitzvah. You're not listening to me. That's my father and that's my mother and they loved me. No. I was removed because the government was taking Indian kids. We had papers saying unfit mother. Well, you don't think governments have father. lied before? And Lisa joins us now. Hello. Hi. Hi. I know, I know that's heavy. I, I told you this before, but you disappear in this role, Thank truly. You. And I, I, I haven't seen you in something like this. Were you familiar with the 60s scoop? Was this something you were passionate? No, no. How did it How did it come to you? When did you say, like, this is what I need to do? Well, they sent me the script. Yeah. Uh, I was so um, proud to be asked to do this. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it was a really important story to tell, and I was happy to be playing playing a Jewish Holocaust survivor. Um, who, so there's something about the sort of shared trauma of mm. these two experiences that is really a big part of the story. Yeah. yeah also, your, your daughter in this, your co-star, her father was actually a, a, a victim in real life. So yes. what was it like connecting with that real story in, you know, with, with her? It, it was amazing. She and I can. She and I had a really beautiful dynamic mm -hmm. from the minute I met her on Zoom because we were in two different countries um, during COVID. Uh, but uh, in fact, the whole, there were so many members of the cast that were indigenous. So I heard so many stories mm -hmm. of the '60s scoop. I met incredible people who were amazing survivors of incredible abuse. Uh, and it was uh, it was just an honor. What yeah. a cool experience yeah. to, to be immersed in that. Yeah, I, I listen. Mm. I if I look exhausted this morning, it's because I stayed up to watch all of oh. the episodes. <laughs> and it's also why my eyes might be a little bit puffy, but I do believe that this is an award worthy series. Thank I will say you. that. Thank you. As a parent watching, for mm -hmm. me, it hit different. As a parent yourself, did did you play it different? Like, did that did that kind of go into? Of your, course. Okay, well, did. I mean, especially as an adopted parent, she. Uh, thought she was doing a mitzvah, she thought she was doing a good deed. She did not know she was complicit in a, really what was a horrible practice. Um, and having to come to terms with that, having to choose loving her daughter over her own uh, self-protection uh, was a really major hurdle for her. And then what I thought was very beautiful was being a survivor of the kind of trauma she was and being the survivor that the people from her indigenous family survived. Like both of them, it makes both sides very sort of, um, they move very slowly in terms of mm. whether they trust a new person. And you can see that happening slowly from both sides. So it's just, it was a beautiful it's sharing so, of culture. It's done yes. so well. My God, so well. and it's shot like, so beautifully. Beautiful. And there's also a companion documentary coming out called Coming mm -hmm. Home, right? Yeah. So what do you hope for people to get out of this story? I think especially in this country, we have so little understanding of our actual history. And it's not just a Canadian story. It's very much a North American story. Um, so I hope that they'll, they'll start to, their minds will start to expand mm. to understand the story of the Americas. Mm. And I, I want you to be able to talk about your artwork. Like you Thank are an you. artist in many different ways. You have a <laughs> gallery show in LA right now. I do. Tell us quick <laughs> about that. Uh, I started, uh, well, I always did drawing. I was always, that was always something I did when I retreated. But during the pandemic, we had all that time. Yeah. And so I really focused um, and I live with an incredible artist and we have so many artist friends and they started seeing what I was doing and really, pushing me and supporting me and like actually taking it from a, like a private practice into something that I shared. So it's been really exciting and scary to kind of have myself be vulnerable in that way out in the world. <laughs> like we're already sort yes. of ripping ourselves open as actors. So. She does it all and does Thank it you. all so well. All right, well you can catch the premiere of Little Bird tomorrow at 9 p.m. on PBS, followed by the documentary Coming Home. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. We're having you.